and I'm so glad that you're here today for another virtual preschool class. While we wait for all of the boys and girls to join us, we're going to sing Bicycle for Miss Nancy. To sing Bicycle, you have to lay on your back and put your feet up in the air. Move them like you're riding a bicycle. Here goes. This is Bicycle from the Seasons. Make sure you're lying down on the ground for this one with your feet in the air, or you can use your hands to go around and around. I'm riding on my bicycle, I'm riding on my bicycle, I'm riding on my bicycle all around the town. I'm riding on my bicycle, I'm riding on my bicycle, riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes up and down, up and down, up. And down and up and down I'm riding on my bicycle I'm riding on my bicycle I'm riding on my bicycle all around the town my bike goes fast and my bike goes slow go fast again fast and my bike goes slow. I'm riding on my bicycle. I'm riding on my bicycle. Riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes twist and turn. Twist and turn. Twist and turn. And twist. Then turn, I'm riding on my bicycle, I'm riding on my bicycle, riding on my bicycle all around the town. My bike goes in and out, in and out, in and out, and in and out. I'm riding on my bicycle, riding on my bicycle. has a bell and it goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling my bell goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling my bell goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling my bell goes ding a ling a ling a ling a ling i am riding up my bicycle i'm riding on my bicycle riding Nancy, it's so fun to sing together. I'm so glad to see so many friends here. If you're watching Virtual Preschool, leave a little comment in the video so I know that you're here and where you're from. Should we wake up Betsy? I think if we call one, two, three, Betsy, where are you? She'll come out. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, where are you? Oh, Betsy's got some pictures to show us today. Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you're here today. Let's start by singing hello to our friends, okay, Betsy? And then you can show them the pictures that you brought. All right, we're going to sing. Hello, friends. How are you? And can you sing hello, Betsy? Hello, Betsy. How are you? And would you like to sing hello, Miss Jamie? Hello, Miss Jamie. How are you? We're so glad to see you here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, here, here. We're all here, we're all here together. Yay! I'm so glad you're here, friends. Betsy, we're learning all about this thing right here. Do you remember what we're talking about this week? Tell me really loud so I can hear you. Yes, the farm. I'm going to lay Betsy down and then can I show them your pictures? Okay, I'm going to lay her down so I can show you what we're going to do today. 
we're learning all about the farm. Yesterday we talked about all the animals on the farm and I wanted to teach you the sign for farm. To make the sign for farm, you hold up your whole hand and reach it across your head like this and then make it go over your forehead. Can you make the sign for farm? Hold up your whole hand and go from one side to the other. Farm, that's right. We're learning all about the farm. Have you ever seen a farm? Or have you ever been to a farm to see the animals that are living there? One of my favorite animals to visit when I go to a farm are the cows. Here are some cows that are grazing on grass. Cows eat a lot of grass. And after they eat the grass, then they can make milk. Here's a picture of a dairy farmer. Dairy is the word for milk. And this is his big bucket of milk that he, he, that he got after he milked the cows. Here's the sign for cow. For this one, you take your hand so that your pinky finger and your thumb are up like this and put it on your head like your cow horn. Do you see this little horn? And I go like this, cow. Can you make the sign for cow? Yes, we're gonna talk all about cows today. There are lots of books and songs that are very silly about cows. We're gonna learn a silly poem about cows to start. I think you'll like this one. It's a little bit of a nursery rhyme. It's actually a really old poem, more than 100 years old, but it's fun to say. It will sort of tickle your tongue when we say it. It's about a silly cow who lives on a farm. Look at this cow. He doesn't look like a normal cow, does he? This is a purple cow. Can you say purple cow? Yes, okay, the poem goes like this. I never saw a purple cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. Isn't that silly? Let's say it together. I never saw a purple cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. <laughs> Isn't that silly? Oh, we can do it with all the different colors of cows. Look at this cow. What color is this one? Do you know? Ooh. Oh, there's my purple cow right there so you can see him. <gasps> yes, what color is this cow? Tell me. Yellow, it's a yellow cow, you're right. Can you say the poem with a yellow cow? Have you ever seen a yellow cow? No, me either, but we can say the silly poem, ready? I never saw a yellow cow. I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. <laughs> Isn't that so silly? Here's another cow I've never seen. Look at this cow. What color is it? Tell me. It's red. Yes, it's a red cow. Have you ever seen a red cow? No, I haven't either. So we'll make this silly poem up. It will go like this. I never saw a red cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you anyhow. I'd rather see than be one. <laughs> Isn't that silly? I wouldn't want to be a red cow either out in the pasture all day eating grass. Should we do another cow? Another silly color? Hmm, what color should we do next? Do you think we should do a... Uh... Hmm, I hear a lot of people like blue. Okay, we can do a blue cow. Isn't that silly? Let's say the poem. I never saw a blue cow. I never hoped to see one. But I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. <laughs> oh, that's silly. Let's do two more. How about this one? What color is that cow? What color is it? What color is the cow? 
He's green. Oh boy, that is silly. I've never seen a green cow. Have you? No. We can say the poem though. Ready? I never saw a green cow. I never hope to see one. But I can tell you anyhow. I'd rather see than be one. That is pretty silly, right? Oh goodness, let's see. What other color should we do for our cow? Oh, that's the real color of a cow, isn't it? He's white with black polka dots, or she's white with black polka dots. Yes, we could say, this is a really silly poem because I have seen a black and white cow, but we're gonna say the silly poem anyway. Anyway, ready? I never saw a black and white cow. I never hoped to see one, but I can tell you anyhow, I'd rather see than be one. That's silly, I have seen a black and white cow. Look, I showed you a picture of a black and white cow from a farm. They look just like that, don't they? Do you see the cows? Yes. That's pretty silly. You can say the poem at home with your favorite color. If you like pink or orange or brown or gray, you could say the poem all by yourself, just like we did together. Well, cows are really important because when they give us this milk, farmers and grocers use the milk to make lots of different things that we can eat. And all of these things that we eat that are made from milk are called dairy. Can you say dairy? Yeah, dairy are all the foods that we eat that are made from milk. So I'm gonna bring you right over here and show you. Oh, I forgot to play you my, oh no, I forgot something. Hold on, I was, this is what I was gonna do first and I forgot it. Oh no, Miss Jamie had a forgetful moment. That happens. Would you, I was gonna do this little trick to show you if you could guess what we were learning about but I'll just play it now and see if you can hear it. Ready? Here goes. Again. <laughs> Isn't that a silly sound? The cow goes, moo. <laughs> Did you hear it? Can you moo like a cow? I meant to play that for you first and I forgot. Oh boy, sometimes I forget things. That happens. <laughs> Does that ever happen to you? It's okay. So the cow gives us milk, and we can use the milk to make lots of different dairy foods. We could just drink the milk, maybe with your lunch, or you have some milk on your cereal for breakfast, or we can use the milk and make other foods, like cheese. This is plastic cheese from my play kitchen. And this is yogurt. It's just a pretend one from my play kitchen. And this is Butter, yes, all of these things, butter, cheese, yogurt, they are all made out of the cow's milk. Sometimes they're made from other animals' milk, like goat milk, but most of the time it's made from cow's milk, like that. These are all of the different dairy products. You might be thinking of some other dairy products that you have in your fridge. Maybe you have sour cream or cream cheese on your bagel. What else is made from milk? Ice cream is made from a cow's milk. Yes, all of these dairy products are possible because the farmers have cows who give us milk. We are going to play the hide and seek game. I dropped my bandana all the way down on the floor. What kind of a day am I having today? Hold on, I will get somebody to grab it for me. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you're so helpful, thank you. My wonderful family is helping because today apparently I need a lot of help. <laughs> okay, we're going to play the hide and seek game. I'm going to cover up the things on the tray and we're going to take one away. And then you have to try to guess or figure out which one is missing. You have to remember which one is missing. Do you think you can remember them? Let's say milk, cow, yogurt, butter. Ice cream. There are five things on the tray. Oh boy. Let's take one away. Ready? Something is missing from the tray. 
What can it be? Hmm. Which thing is missing? Can you tell me really loud? Yes! Yogurt! You're right! The yogurt was missing. Wow! I like how your brain was remembering all the things on the tray. Are you ready to play again? Here goes. Oh, something is missing from the tray. One of the dairy products is missing. Which one could it be? Hmm, tell me really loud so I can hear you. It's a circle. It's yellow. Which one is it? <gasps> yes, it was the cheese. Oh, you're right. Should we play again? Take a good look at the tray. Try to remember all of the things that are on there. Are you ready? Something is missing from the tray. Which thing is missing here? Hmm, it's that thing that goes moo. Which one is it? Tell me, I can hear you. Yes, Hunter, you were right. It's the cow. The cow is missing from the tray. Should we play one more time? Okay, I'm going to cover up the tray and something is going to be missing. Take a good look. Here goes. Oh, I knocked over the yogurt. Which thing is missing from our dairy tray? Hmm, which thing is missing? Let's see, the cow is there. I think it's something right here. Something white. Which thing is it? Do you know? Yes, it was the milk. Oh, you're so good at remembering all of the things that are on the tray. I'm really proud of you. I like the way you think and concentrate and really try to keep the ideas in your head so that you can remember them. Memorizing things like that is a really good brain power skill. Okie dokie pokies. <laughs> I have a fun story for you today. It's one of my very favorite cow books ever, and I have a lot of cow books to choose from. This one is called Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type. In this story, the cows on Farmer Brown's farm find an old typewriter. Do you know what a typewriter is? The typewriter is like an old-fashioned computer. You put a piece of paper in it and go click, 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 and it will type out the words right there onto the paper. There's no printer. It just goes right onto the paper. Click, 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 click. And the cows in Farmer Brown's barn with this little duck and some chickens decide that they're going to use the typewriter to write Farmer Brown some notes. What do you think the cows will say to Farmer Brown on their notes? Let's read and find out. This is Click, Clack, Moo, Cows That Type by Doreen Cronin and the pictures are by Betsy Lewin. Do you see that old typewriter? Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Betsy Lewin drew this picture. Mm -hmm. Here's the title page. Click, clack, moo, cows that type. Do you see the cows all looking at this typewriter that they found in the barn? Oh boy, they look like they could cause some crazy trouble. Let's see what they say. Farmer Brown has a problem. His cows like to type. All day long, he hears click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo, clickety, clack, moo. At first, he couldn't believe his ears. Cows that type? Impossible. Can you say this part with me? Say click, clack, moo, click, clack, moo. Clickety-clack, moo. We can say that part over and over during the story. Then he couldn't believe his eyes. Look, this is the note that they typed, and they put it up on the barn door. It says, Dear Farmer Brown, 
The barn is very cold at night. We'd like some electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Do you see that? They were too cold. They want a warm blanket at night. Do you think the farmer brown would give them a blanket? It was bad enough that the cows had found the old typewriter in the barn. Now they wanted electric blankets? No way, said Farmer Brown. No electric blankets. So the cows went on strike. They left a note on the barn door. On strike means that they will not work on the farm anymore. It says, sorry, we're closed. No milk today. They are not going to give the farmer his milk. Isn't that silly? No milk today, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard the cows busy at work. Can you read this part with me? Say click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack, moo. Good reading. The next day he got another note. Dear Farmer Brown, the hens are cold too. They'd like electric blankets. Sincerely, the cows. Look, this is another note out of the typewriter. And the hens went in on this deal. They want blankets too, electric blankets to stay warm in the barn. Do you think Farmer Brown is going to give the hens some electric blankets? Let's see. The cows were growing impatient with the farmer. They left a new note on the barn door. It says, closed, no milk, no eggs. Look, the hens are going on strike too. No eggs, cried Farmer Brown. In the background, he heard them. Click, clack, moo. Click, clack, moo. Clickety, clack. Moo. Cows that type, hens on strike, who ever heard of such a thing? How can I run a farm with no milk and no eggs? Farmer Brown was furious. Can you say that word? Furious. That means so mad. Look, he's got his hands up in the, uh, in the sky like he's like, ah! I'm so mad. I'm furious. Yes, do you see that? Furious Farmer Brown. Farmer Brown got out his own typewriter. Dear cows and hens. Look, he's typing them a note. There will be no electric blankets. You are cows and hens. I demand milk and eggs. Sincerely, Farmer Brown. Duck was a neutral party, so he brought the ultimatum to the cows. Do you see Duck is delivering the note all the way up here to the barn that says that the farmer Brown will not give them milk or not give them electric blankets. The cows held an emergency meeting. All the animals gathered around the barn to snoop, but none of them could understand Moo. All night long, Farmer Brown waited for an answer. Look, they have a lock on the barn door. Duck knocked on the door early the next morning. He handed Farmer Brown a note. Look, they typed another note on the typewriter. This one says, Dear Farmer Brown, we will exchange our typewriter for electric blankets. Leave them outside the barn door and we will send Duck over with the typewriter. Sincerely, the cows. They're offering to trade him. They'll say, we'll give you the typewriter if you'll give us some blankets. Do you think Farmer Brown will make the trade? Will he trade them a typewriter for some blankets? Yes, Farmer Brown decided this was a good deal. He left the blankets next to the barn door and waited for Duck to come with a typewriter. Look, each cow has this nice, warm, electric blanket. See, it's plugged in to keep her warm in the barn. And the hens are all laying under another electric blanket. 
Isn't that silly? Uh-oh. Do you think Duck took the typewriter back to Farmer Brown? What do you know about Duck? He's a troublemaker. <laughs> the next morning, he got a note. This is the note that the Ducks wrote to Farmer Brown. It says, Dear Farmer Brown, the pond is quite boring. We'd like a diving board. Sincerely, the Ducks. And instead of click, clack, moo, it says, click, clack, quack, click, clack, quack, clickety, clack, quack. Do you see they're using it to write their own list of demands to the farmer? <laughs> Do you think they'll get a diving board? Will Farmer Brown give them a diving board? I think they will. This is the last page. It doesn't have any words. The story's over, but you can sort of see what's going to happen next. Does that remind you of the book that we read yesterday? Do you remember yesterday we read Doc on a Bike? He was a little bit of a troublemaker too, remember? And on the very last page, after the story was over, it said the end, and Doc was looking at a tractor. And he was thinking, I bet I could ride a tractor. The story was continued even after it was over through the picture. Did you say to yourself, hey, this ending reminds me of the book we read yesterday? If you did, you should give your brain a kiss. Mwah. Brain, that's a really good connection to make if you can start to think about two stories that are almost the same. I love this book. It's one of my favorites. Well, boys and girls, it's just about time for us to say goodbye. I wanted to show you what we're going to do for our project this week. Yesterday, I told you that we're going to do the same project all week long. So this is something that you can work on a little bit every day and by the end of the week you'll have a really nice farm mural. So yesterday we started our farm mural by drawing a barn and maybe you put some grass or a sun or clouds and maybe you wrote the word farm. Well today I wonder can you draw a cow? A cow is an oval with some black spots and a head and some legs. My sweet daughter Olivia helped me draw this cow. I'm going to use my scissors safely and cut out the cow. I think this cow might need a tail. We might need to draw a tail on this cow. And I'm going to add the cow to my farm mural. Maybe you want to draw a black and white cow or maybe you want to draw a purple cow like this little silly poem that we read at the beginning of class today. You could do it however you want. If you want it to be a real farm or if you want it to be an imaginary silly farm with purple cows, you're the artist so you can decide. So after you get your cow picture all drawn like this, then you can use glue or a glue stick or tape, whatever you have available at home. I'm going to use a glue stick. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue right on the back of my paper, like this. And we have to decide where we should stick down the cow onto the farm picture. Do you think he should go, she should go right there next to the barn? Yes, that looks good. Each day, we'll add another little picture to the farm mural. And by the end of the week, you'll have a whole farm picture ready to hang up. Boys and girls, it's time to say goodbye. Should we get Betsy out to sing goodbye? I think so too. Let's call one, two, three. Betsy, come back. Ready? One, two, three. Betsy, come back. Here she comes. Hello, boys and girls. I loved hearing about all those crazy cows on the farm. I'm so glad you spent the time with me. It's time for us to sing goodbye. And then maybe you have some treats in your pocket that you could send to Betsy. That's her favorite part of the day. Are you ready? Here goes. Preschool time is over now, over now, over now. Preschool time is over now for another day. Wave goodbye to all of our friends, all of our friends. All of our friends wave goodbye to all of our friends. It's time to stay home and play. Hip, hip, hooray! Okay, reach way down in your pocket. 
Do you have a little treat for Betsy? Okay, grown-ups, while they're grabbing their treats for Betsy, make sure that you print your play pack. There's a link up in the video description, and every day you get a play pack that has six ideas that you can use at home to extend the fun and learning, and four printable pages that you can use to practice your child's name, letters, math concepts, and fine motor. It's all free, and it's in the video description. So be sure you check it out and print those for your kiddos at home. Okay, do you have some bird seed way down in your pocket? Okay, on the count of three, let's throw it to Betsy. Ready? One, two, three. Yum, thank you so much. Now Betsy's going to throw you a kiss. If you want to catch it, put your hand out like this and then grab it. Ready? Catch it. Stick it to your cheek. Put a little glue on there so it stays all day. And give yourself a big hug from Miss Jamie and Betsy. We're proud of you and we will see you again tomorrow.